I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Sunday morning, the 29th of January, 2023. And this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. We start off with the first book of Corinthians, chapter 3, and I'm reading verse 16. Do you not know that you are the temple of God? and that the Spirit of God dwells in you. And then we carry on to the second book of Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, fleshly, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We really need to look after them. You know, everywhere I go, I see gyms, physical fitness centers, and that's wonderful. I also am very keen on keeping fit. I'm trying to keep myself physically fit all the time. But there's an area where we are slack, and that is in our mind. You see, it's no good having an exterior that looks like a Formula One racing car, but inside, the engine is like a two-stroke lawnmower. <laughs> We must discipline the whole person, inside and outside. Folks, seriously, the Holy Spirit will not dwell in a dirty, polluted house. You know, very sadly, I remember reading about a very famous young actor. He was playing a major role in a a movie as a virtual demon in the movie. And then he was found in his bed, dead. He had taken an overdose of drugs. And he left a message behind, I just can't sleep. It is time for you and me to clean out our temples. What are we talking about? We're talking about things like unforgiveness, hatred, envy, jealousy, bitterness, anger. We need to clean it out of our homes. And we need to fill our temples with love and joy and peace and patience and loving kindness. Yes, I'm talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Father, I want to pray for my friends that are listening to this message right now. I pray, Lord, that you will help them to discipline themselves. They will discipline themselves on what they watch and what they read. We're talking about things like pornography, the filth of the world. Lord, that they'll cast it aside, start to concentrate on eternal things and mostly the love of Christ. I ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Jesus bless you and have a wonderful Sunday. Goodbye.